Hi, what's up everyone? Today I have my favourite loadout for the M4A1 Assault Rifle on X Defiant. I'm going to be showing you this loadout. I've got some gameplay for you. I don't want to fill the video with gameplay though. I'm sure you've seen plenty of it and you just want to know what loadout I use and why. But I'm also going to show you my controller settings. I do use controller. I've used keyboard and mouse as well. I just prefer controller on this game. I just think of how fast pace it is. It's just a little bit easier. So I highly recommend using controller but this loadout will be okay for keyboard and mouse also i have tested it now i am a father to three i am very busy with my a real job on the division two i don't get to play this game a lot but i'm having a ton of fun with this loadout it's all about movement speed it's getting me around quick i'm able to turn that 360 very quickly my reload speed is fast i can stay in the combat most of the time because how quick the reload speed is and that's what the setup is aimed around you could probably get more mods that are going to give you more damage but i don't think you need that if you can work on hitting the heads and it does quite a lot of damage close range as well medium to close range it's what it's all built around so i hope you enjoyed today's video i'm gonna let this gameplay roll a little bit now as a couple of minutes of me killing some stuff not the best at it but you'll see this loadout in action and then we'll go through the controller settings and we'll show you what mods i have on the m4a1 So here it is. You can see that I've got my M4A1 leveled up to 93. I didn't want to put any of these loadout videos out there until I've put a lot of time into the gun and tried a lot of different modifications. I actually wanted to get it to 100 before I did this, but I am sold on this loadout now. I've tried loads of variations, and this is my favorite by far, along with the controller settings, which I will get to in a few moments time so it's all about the mods you can see the muzzle brake that i'm using on this loadout is the muzzle booster it's going to increase my rate of fire but it does give me a knockdown on the horizontal and vertical recoil i don't mind so much on that it still feels like your beams is a little control needed but that rate of fire helps with the damage i then put a, a front rail onto the gun it's a super light grip which increases ads speed and movement speed again you're getting a little bit of hit on the recoil there with minus 10 percent on the recoil recovery the optics is the reflex sight i guess you could change this to your preference if you prefer the holographic sight i don't we've also got the zoomed ones as well if that's something you like i'm not sure how the slowdown would work with the zoomed though the reflex is perfect in my opinion and then the magazine this is hit or miss like if you play a little bit more slow pace and you've got that time to reload you could probably take this out and look at other modifications to improve this slowdown but i re i I can't knock it. This 40% reload speed is very handy. When I'm when I'm getting in and I'm being aggressive and I just need to like uh, go into corner cover just for a few seconds to get a reload off, it's that quick where I can do that. I can get straight back into the action. It also gives you a plus five magazine size as well. It does give you a knockoff on the ADS speed and ADS flinch control though. But I highly recommend this reload speed. I put the fast mag on. And then for the rear grip, which is the final, 
final item on this loadout, I go for the quick draw grip. You get 10% sprint shoot time, 10% ADS speed, and you have a knock on the ADS stability. Now, even though we're taking a knock on the stability and the recoil, it does still feel like it beams. You could see in the gameplay footage, I hope that I was beaming. It was quite easy to control. That's on keyboard and mouse as well. Um, but yeah, I'd say if there's any change that I might consider. Again, it's just adjusting my playstyle to swap the mag out and put something else in potentially to just make that recoil a little better. So it's beaming that bit more. That would then suit me at a little bit more range. But yes, it's a great loadout. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm having loads of good games. I'm getting like 30 to 40 kills for my ability. That's very good. I've had a lot of man of the matches or player of the matches as it is. And I highly recommend this loadout for the M4A1. And the last thing to go over really is the controller settings. So I have aim assist as standard, aim assist strength, and aim assist follow to zero. The aim response curve type, I've tried all of these. I've tried standard, I've tried that uh, S, reverse S curve, uh, but I've, I've landed on linear. I really like this. This is where I'm leaving it. Linear is very good. Horizontal sensitivity and vertical sensitivity. I was on 40-40 for the most part. I recently made this adjustment no i got a new controller and it just wasn't feeling right and when i did some research some people were playing with these settings the horizontal at 28 vertical at 15 and since i did that it really did improve my aim i was finding it much easier to hit the targets and yeah i highly recommend this if you're struggling just give it a go linear 28 15 see how you do the ads sensitivity multiplier i've got as one for low zoom 0.8 for high zoom my dead zone left and right stick are both on zero and my acceleration speed multiplier is 1.47 this really helps when you may have saw in the clip earlier when you just need to spin around very very quickly you know you're killing someone in front and then someone comes back behind you just coming out of ads this allows you to get that 180 spin very very quickly uh, the higher this goes so i i recommend having 1.47 there i obviously don't invert my controllers i it says i've got controller vibration on but i normally have that off and uh, that's it that's my controller settings Thank you so much for watching this video. GC Rock 2.0 is my new channel where I'm going to be covering other content other than The Division. The Division is now for my main channel. Everything else is for this channel. So if you do enjoy this style of content on other games, be sure to hit subscribe, like, support, however you can. I'd really appreciate it. I aim to get some more X Defiant videos out. I'm really enjoying this game right now. I'll go through as many gun loadouts as I can. I'll get some gameplay out and things like that. Uh, again, if you enjoy the content, like and support it. So I know. Until until next time, thank you for watching this. Take care and peace out.